Utkarsh Saxena and Ananya Kotia have been together for more than a decade, but the Indian state doesn't recognise their relationship. The pair met in 2008 while in college and since then have watched their fellow citizens' attitudes to homosexuality change. Now they've filed a petition with the country's top court, calling for same-sex marriage to be legalised. Three other couples have also done so. Our relationship has been, in a social sense, uh, undefined for so long that we would like it to now be embraced in the same way as any other couple's relationship is embraced, which is why marriage is important for us personally. Rights for Indian LGBTQI plus couples have been expanding in recent years. Non-binary or transgender persons were recognised as a third gender in 2014, and four years later, gay sex was decriminalised. Marriage, though, is governed by laws tailored to India's religious groups, plus a secular law for interfaith couples. But gay and lesbian Indians still face a host of restrictions, for example, around owning and inheriting property. They also can't have children born via a surrogate or adopt if they're not single. Living in a modern society, uh, you know, which has certain rules and laws, we would certainly want a relationship with the state, but also just for acceptance at a social level. Uh, and, you know, we think the time is right uh, to go ahead uh, with this. Basically, you need to be treated the same as any other citizen. It's not any special rights that are being asked for. It's just the right that every other citizen has. That's all. Stigma hasn't stopped some celebrities being open about their sexuality, while even Bollywood has seen several films deal with these issues, such as Season's Greeting and Dostana. Even the Supreme Court has signalled it could challenge the position of the government of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, though resistance still remains. In India, same-sex marriage is neither recognised nor accepted in any uncodified personal laws, like Muslim personal law or any codified statutory laws. Same-sex marriage would cause complete havoc. So there's a lot long way to go, but I think legal changes certainly catalyse that process. India's Supreme Court will hear the petitions in March. Andrew Nierhoff, ABC News.